All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for another Discord voice chat tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to install Aerospot on your server and get it running to do things like play music or to give you, you know, like the weather or tell you your fortune. And for those of you curious, Aerospot is one of a number of different bots that exist for Discord, which gives you expanded functionality for your server. Some of them do administrative things like moderate chats. Some of them just do fun little things like tell you your fortune and others have the ability to pull in videos and music and DJ. It really just depends on what you want them to do. And there's pretty much a bot for just about everything, including sharing all of those dank memes if that's what you're into. So Aerospot, if we tab over here to all of its commands, Aerospot does things like it tells you Yoda jokes, it can give you info on a specific user, it can pull in a random FML quote from the FML website, you can pull in 8-ball, fortunes, it even does the weather, and of course it also has a music function that allows you to pull in music from YouTube and play them in a specific channel. Now, all you gotta do to install Aerospot is you just gotta click on this little button up here at the top that says Add Aerospot. This will pop open a little window, and if your web browser is properly detecting your Discord installation that you're currently logged into, it should allow you to select a server that you have control over. I'm gonna put it into my Chupacabra's Lair server, where I do all of my Discord experiments. I'm going to allow it to have admin permissions because it needs that in order to do all of the different crazy functions that it's got. And then I'm going to click on authorize. After you verify that you're a person and yourself, not another bot, it'll then pop up and install itself on your discord, which is really quick, easy to do. And a lot of bots will install that way. Alternatively, you'll have to go through discord itself and give it the permission for admin manually, depending on the age of the bot. Some of the older bots don't have this cool new add to Discord functionality. So once you've got all that done and you open up your server, Aerospot should be here and waiting to say hello to you. The icon for Aerospot is, of course, the Lego Spaceman from the Lego movie. And that's pretty much it. Aerospot is installed and it's ready for you to use. So you can then just type in commands in whatever channels it's active in. You can say dot weather. Let's do Denver, Colorado. And then it should pull the weather for whatever country and state and town that you are currently asking for. Although I will note that ever since the local hurricanes have been happening, it's been telling a lot of different areas that they're currently experiencing a hurricane because this is where it tells you what the weather is. And then you can do a whole bunch of different commands. If you type in help, it'll tell you what all of the different Aerospot commands are. You can get the status of Aerospot. You can ping to test what your ping is to the server. You can get the Urban Dictionary definition of a certain word. Maybe don't do this all the time. Some terms out there are kind of gross and might be a little bit offensive to people. You can get stats for Overwatch players if you're really interested in. And you can also embed a live feed of a certain Twitter channel or a Twitch channel to let you know when your favorite streamers go online. Or if you're like me, I occasionally stream, so it'd be kind of cool for me to do a Twitch notification when I go live in case I open up my server to some of my fans. And then if I want to get rid of all of the, the Aerospot commands or messages recently so that I can, can clean them up, I can type dot clean and all of them will disappear and it'll just be my putting in commands that you see. Now, the other functionality that a lot of people like is Aerospot has the ability to turn you into your own personal DJ. And to do that, all you need is a link to a video somewhere of music that you want to listen to, and you have to give somebody the role of DJ. So if I click on the arrow up here and go into my server settings, and I go to roles, I can go down here and I've already set up a role called DJ, but just for the sake of argument, I'm going to delete the DJ role and I'm going to go up here to the top where it says roles, click on the little plus symbol. 
and we're going to go ahead and create a new role that's called DJ. Now, you don't have to give it any special permissions. All Aerospot is looking for is, does this person have the DJ role? And if so, they can control the music setting. And then just for the heck of it, let's give this a color. Let's keep it purple. I kind of like that color for a DJ. And then let's jump back out and let's give myself the role of DJ. And then I can jump into the music channel and I can show you guys exactly what it sounds like or looks like when Aerospot jumps in and gives you music. So if I go here and then we'll jump back here into Discord and I will type dot music. So what are the rules for dot music? I can type dot music space play space the URL for a video, which will start playing it from either YouTube or SoundCloud. You can pause it. You can change the volume. You can queue up a number of different songs so you can play them in like a repeating loop. You can skip a song for skip a song or you can show what's playing now, or you can stop a song, et cetera, et cetera. So let's do top, dot, blah, blah, blah. Dot music, space play, space the URL of that free song that we just found. Now, as you can hear, Aerospot has jumped into the channel with us and is now playing the music. So to stop the music, I just type stop music, space, stop. And there it goes. Now, there is the question of how do you limit Aerospot from going into specific channels or from being able to do specific things? In order to do that, you'd have to deny Aerospot the admin permission and then block them from being able to enter specific channels. It's not hard to do. You can just go into your server settings and then you can go to roles, you can go to Aerospot and you can just tell them that they don't get to be an admin anymore. And that's as hard as it is. Otherwise, if you want to get rid of Aerospot, if you find you don't like Aerospot or it's becoming annoying because people are abusing something in it, you can just right click Aerospot at any time and kick them from the server. And if you want to prevent one of your admins from being able to reinvite Aerospot, you can ban them all together. So that's basically how you install Aerospot and how you can install a lot of different bots. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. If you have any questions, I'm not an expert on Aerospot. If you have a bunch of really detailed problems with Aerospot, you should get in contact with the developers. You can find their Discord information here on their website, aerospot.com. You can click on the bu button to join their Discord, and you can get advanced technical support that way. It's pretty easy to use. I don't think you should run into too many problems. The only issue that I personally ran into was for about a week, Aerospot wasn't working at all. I think the developers were doing some changes. So if it tells you that it's having trouble booting up, just wait and eventually it'll get itself sorted out. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Bye.